Now, funny enough, I think it's a cool little icebreaker, but um, my homie called me earlier today, and he was like, he feels bad for the newbies getting into the industry. And he was saying because they have to do so much to get in. He's like, when I got in, all I, he said, I really only got three certs now. He was like, Security Plus, CISSP, and CISM. And, you know, he's been in a decade and some change now. So he got a Security Plus thing like 2021. And I was like, yeah. I was like, back when we got in. That's when I got mine, too, in 2021. It was, I mean, yeah, things have changed big time. Yeah. And it and it, and it also was like, you don't know what to do to get in. Like, you almost have to be specific enough to follow a job description, which isn't good for you, right? Because if you don't get that job, it's back to the drawing board. But, yeah, it's, it's sticky. Sticky out here. <laughs> you funny for that one. Uh, I see your, one of your top bullet points. Period. So yeah, I had I kind of left that part alone, but we'll we'll get into that. But I was telling him I was like, yeah, unfortunately, like it's not us the ones that's doing the hiring. So you know that's why it's different. I was like, if it's me hiring, I'm looking at different things. A lot of these recruiters, some of them don't know what they're looking at. ATS is messing up the thing, and you got all these people telling you to get all these different certifications and all this and that, and you really don't know anything. Because I came across a post on LinkedIn today, and this guy was talking about how he'd been searching for a security job for two years, and he was, you know, kind of had his head down because he didn't get this sock roll. They had like two openings, and he was like, hey, I got the security plus. Apparently, that means nothing. I got my associates. Apparently, that means nothing. And I kind of felt bad for him, but at the same time, I think another guy was like, well, you just need to keep on applying. And I lost the post, but I, I want to apply, I mean, comment on there too because I'm like, okay, well, if it's taking you two years, then there may be some issues with your skill set. Either interviewing or your resume. I mean, both. there's a lot of contributing factors against you, but you, which makes you have to make sure that you got all your ducks in a row. It's it's always the resume. If I show you right now, um, I, I already believe you. I'm in that Bye. black IT group. Yeah. Honestly, the re- I'm one, in it too. I be seeing their stuff. Man, the people. A lot of people don't want to pay for help, and so they just want to get the advice of a lot of people who probably. It's like you really cannot get any. If you had a navigational system, let's say you had Apple Maps, Google Maps, Waze. Uh, Tum Tum, all the others, you know, we have. If all five of them are telling you to go somewhere, my, my, most of the time they may not be all telling you the same direction. Mm-hmm. But they still get you to the same destination. Could. Yeah. But it may take you longer. So the best one may be, prime example for us is, hey, take 380 to the tollway and take it to where we at now. Whereas somebody else, it told them, uh, take legacy all the way down where they had to hit a million lights. So it took them 20 minutes longer to get here. And so that's what I'm saying. Like kind of that's how the advice got to be like based on your pace and what you are willing or not willing to do. Like uh, my guy was telling me the the girl that he hired, she used to be an intern for him and she has her master's. She had a blog. She had like two or three certs. He was like, man, she had to do a lot. And she's asking me like what I got. I was like, this is what I have. I didn't really have to do all that just because of, the time that we got in. And I was also talking about how the days of them, I was like, it's not a lot of pure entry-level roles anymore. It's not, unless you're a recent grad, which is why I tell people, and that's just my personal opinion and my prerogative, that you should go to school so that you have an easier chance of getting in because there are programs designed for recent grads. Whether you have a bachelor's, a master's, an MBA, a PhD, there are all these entry-level programs that could potentially align better. But the thing is that I would say is before you even decide to do that, you need to already have like a running list of all these employers who have programs like that so that you can be, you don't miss the opportunity because there's no point of you doing that and then you missed the opportunity because you weren't connected or you didn't know which um, which employers had those type of programs. So that's that's why I say what I say. It's not for everybody, though. It's just absolutely not. But for me, that's an, that's the safest way to get the most bang for your buck. No, I agree. And I would say, like, this is a 
he's a current client, but really a past client because I already helped him get an internship. But he's now just knocking them out because he's still in school, so he gets to yeah. take advantage of these. And and that's that's an easy hit for you because one of the requirements is that most times is that you have another semester of school left. So if you're in school, cool. Yeah. But the thing is, you have to graduate. You can't just be in school. <laughs> you have to be yeah. about to graduate. Otherwise, it's a waste of your time. They're not going to give you that offer if it's contingent upon successfully completing, you know, your academics. Yeah. And then my baby brother, he's starting to get interviews for internships as well. And I mean, you know, we'll have the people in the comments. Like, if you're listening right now or you're watching right now, I know that you guys are against school. But Was those there something are, on there? Mm -mm. Oh, okay. <laughs> 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 we might have to start the pod with that. But <laughs> listen, it's getting hard. You have all these people trying to sway you from not going to school, and then you will not be qualified for these roles that have to supersede and govern AI because you're not going to have the schooling to do it. Trust me. That's they and, bait and switch. And every employer doesn't have programs that are targeted for recent grads, which is why it's important for you to start getting on LinkedIn and knowing who is doing what. So that, again, if you say, okay, next year this time I want to go to school, then this year you need to be figuring out which employers have those programs. You need to start connecting with those recruiters, people that graduated those programs, like all of that. Ask all of the questions so that you're putting yourself in a good position. And another thing is that those are the entry-level jobs. Like, they're for them. They're for recent grads or early in career. It's not a lot of early in career programs, but there are a lot of recent grad programs, I'll say. There are, like, some programs, too, if you're, um, like, transitioning over from maybe a non-tech-related um, background. I think Google has one. I don't know the name of it, but I think Google has one where you can learn how to be, like, a, a PM or a PJ or something like that. Yeah, they got they, yeah. Coursera them got a lot of stuff for, they're working with Google on. And I don't know. It, I mean, like I said, it's, it's interesting. Everyone has their own opinion. And I think this will be one of the ones that if we decide to do some more streaming – where we could, uh, speaking of, matter of fact, you're watching this right now, if you're in the DFW area, unpaid producer internship, you want to come work with the show, holla at me, send me an email. 